Here at 601, we want to take a look. This is some pretty dramatic video. This is Carroll County, Maryland. You can see those strong winds there. Those winds actually knocked down power lines and poles on Route 140 in Westminster. Mm -hmm. More than 30 people and 14 children were trapped. They had to stay in their cars while crews from BGE worked to de-energize the power lines. We want to go ahead and look, show you. This is a, a live look at that scene this morning. Still a mess out there. Uh, those cars are empty now, uh, but they were stranded on the roadway. You can see right there, those cars are not moving. Uh, the governor, Wes Moore, will be traveling here to Westminster to survey the damage and speak with first responders coming up within the next hour or so. This is catastrophic damage. When them power poles came down, they struck uh, 34 vehicles. When them vehicles were struck, a total of 33 people and 14 children were stuck inside their vehicles and trapped. Wow, well, remarkably, no one was hurt. Route 140, it is still closed. Crews are trying to safely remove all of those power poles from the roadway. Detours can be in place for days. And all those folks did the right thing. When those power lines come down, stay in your car until first responders say that it's safe for you to get out of the vehicle. Safest place yeah, to be. Yeah, don't want to be electrocuted. Now, while some of the parts of our region got hit hard, as you can see, the damage, for the most part, not as bad as we saw last week. Yeah, yesterday's storm still brought powerful winds, rain, thunder, and lightning that downed trees and did cut power to thousands. Right now, here's the latest update. Great news from Pepco, only 11 customers without power. About 11,000 Dominion customers are still in the dark in Northern Virginia. BGE reports 52,000 customers still need power restored. Crews have been hard at work overnight trying to restore that power. Let's check in with Derek Ward live in a one Fairfax County neighborhood. Derek, is the power still out where you are? Indeed it is. Uh, people are anxiously awaiting those crews. I can tell you we're here on uh, Zion Drive just off Ox Road. The intersection with Ox Road is dark. The traffic signals are out, so if you travel that way, uh, be cautious. But you can take a look. You can see what the problem is. Up uh, Daisy, up, I'm sorry, up Zion Drive, there's a tree across the road, and it's took, taken down some power lines, and we think that's the culprit uh, for this neighborhood and the intersection being dark. But take a look at some video of what caused all of this, those storms that blew through here with heavy rain, even some hail for some folks. Certainly not as bad here as it was in places like Westminster, Maryland, but if you're in the dark, it's just as bad as anything uh, else, any other situation that we're seeing from this storm. We are told that this is a high priority for uh, Dominion Electric, and we're expecting the crews here any minute now, but uh, in the meantime, they're still in the dark, and you can see some streets are still closed because of downed trees. We're live in Fairfax County. Derek Ward, News 4. Back to you. Derek, thank you. All right, this morning, people in Tacoma Park are cleaning up after the storm. Another tree fell, knocking out power in the same neighborhood for the second time in two weeks. This happened on Cedar Avenue near Eastern Avenue Northwest. Chris Owens told us she feels like it's Groundhog Day. During that last storm, another tree in that yard fell across the street, taking out power. Two trees in two weeks is pretty scary. <laughs> Chris says she's lived here since 1978. She said this summer is the worst her family has seen. Thankfully, no one was hurt. Severe weather also had an impact on another local concert. It happened at Sunday night's Beyonce concert. Then last night, Pink fans were forced to shelter in place due to the weather. The storm delayed the singer's show at Nats Park, but some fans weren't phased. They came prepared with ponchos and umbrellas. The show did go on as planned despite the delay and the rain. We are following.